Me, me, me. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. So, I just wanted to do a really quick update, um, update on what has been going on. I turned 32 weeks yesterday, and about 8.30 in the morning, I started getting some weird sharp pains, um, lower abdominal. And I was like, oh, I'll just take it easy. don't know what it is. And I started having contractions um, around 10 o'clock. And they were so bad that I actually started timing them. And they were every three minutes for about a minute and 25 seconds each. And so that was scary. So by 1 o'clock, um, I went to labor and delivery. And they monitored me. And I was right, having really bad contractions. They're getting pretty painful, probably like mm, 4 or 5 out of 10 on a pain scale. And um, so around 3 o'clock, they decided to give me, I don't know the medicines they gave me off the top of my head. Um, they had me swallow a pill. It was to help relax my uterus. I have it all written down. I don't have it on me right now. It was to relax my uterus. So they gave me that. And that was supposed to work for about three hours, and then they could repeat the dose. So they gave me that, and um, it helps. It helped calm things down for probably like 20 minutes. Then my contractions picked back up again, starting being more painful again. Um, and they were going to give me another one of those doses sooner than three hours, but my blood pressure was too low. I already run pretty low with my blood pressure, and it ended up getting down to like, I don't know, something really crazy low, like 88 over like 50 something. So they couldn't give me a second dose. So they're like, oh, we'll just wait it out, see if we can make it through three hours, see if your blood pressure is doing better. So I waited, and um, probably about... Mm, an hour after they had me take that medicine, um, my contractions started getting really painful. I had three, three really, really painful, like, off-the-chart contractions back-to-back -back within, like, a five-minute period. So the nurse ran in, gave me a shot, Lodrotamine or Petrotamine or something like that, in my arm. That was awful, too. But it did stop all uterine... Um, everything. I mean, it stopped everything from happening. There, nothing was showing up on the monitor, so I guess that was good. But as soon as that wore off, about 40 minutes later, my contractions picked up again. Um, at this point, they had given me one steroid shot in my butt to help mature the baby's lungs. And um, then the doctor came in and talked to me. They didn't want to check my cervix again. They checked it when I got there, and um, I was only like a half centimeter dilated and 50% effaced. So, um, the doctor came back in, and she sent me home, which was crazy. I was a little freaked out about this, and I was like, this is so weird. Why are you sending me home if I'm obviously having contractions? They weren't getting any more painful, though, she said. So... I was instructed to come home, and if they got more painful than what they were there, then I should go back. Otherwise, I can stay home on bed rest. Um, so, stayed home overnight, didn't get any sleep, was cramping all night, um, horrible back pains. I was still contracting, um, not as frequent, so that was good. But... Um, had my doctor's appointment today for my 32-week checkup. So I went in. Um, they gave me an ultrasound to measure my cervical length. Everything looked really good. You know, I wasn't funneling and my cervix wasn't funneling or anything like that. The baby is really low. Her head is pushed right up against my cervix, which is probably causing a lot of the cramping and back aches, they said. But... Um, yeah, so they're not worried about me. He sent me home, and before I left, I had to get another steroid shot to mature the baby's lungs. So it's like a set of two shots within 24 hours. Mm, they don't think I'm going to go into preterm labor, like full to preterm labor. 
but they just wanted to do it just to be safe, which I totally agree with. Um, what else? So, I'm not on, I guess you don't have to call it bed rest. He told me, um, take it easy, be treated like a princess for the next four weeks, because um, the baby can't come out for about four more weeks, five more weeks. I would think not until 37 weeks, but four more weeks would be 36 weeks. So, I don't know about that. But I'm on bed, maybe like restricted bed rest, I guess you could call it. I don't really know. Unrestricted bed rest for the next four weeks. So, not allowed to do laundry, not allowed to cook, clean, pick up my daughter, um, bend over to get anything. He said... I can bend over if I'm feeling okay, have to get down on my knees, and then back up that way. I can't bend over. Um, so, it's been a fun four weeks since I am a stay-at-home mommy, and I do everything. I don't know how dinner is going to get made. I don't know how the dishes are going to get done. I guess we're just going to have to figure it out and suck it up these next four weeks because... All that's important right now is keeping this little girl in. Um, each week and each day counts, so I'm really hoping that she decides to stay in. Other than that, not too many new symptoms. My um, heartburn's getting really bad. I've been waking up in the middle of the night like two, three times at night having to pop a tum because it hurts so bad and it's in my throat and it just is horrible. Um... What other symptom? Totally out of breath and feel like I have a 10 pound weight on my chest all the time almost now. Um, my feet are really, really sore. I'm not having any swelling, but my feet are really sore. My ankles hurt. And besides that, everything's pretty much the same. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope I didn't leave anything out about my preterm labor scare. It was really scary. Um, and I hope that everybody who that happens to <coughs> gets through it. But um, I'm not going to do a belly shot because I just sat down and <laughs> shouldn't really get up again for a little while. So um, yeah, maybe a little bit bigger than last week, but I will do one next week. So I will talk to you guys later. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks. Bye.